Hey folks, Fernando doing a short video here for Immortal Survival. It's talking about a topic that I've addressed before, but it's something that a lot of folks are wondering these days. I guess because of the ammunition shortage, a lot of people are wondering, hey, can I use steel shot 12 gauge ammo for home defense? Is that a good idea? And actually that's, that's not a good idea. It's definitely not recommended. And there's basically three reasons why that is. First of all, number one, maybe the more serious one is steel will bounce back with pretty much the same force as it was fired. It just does not deform like lead does and steel when it hits walls and such any hard surface, you have a greater, a much greater chance of that bouncing back with a lot more energy than it would be the case if you were firing a lead ammunition instead. There's really not much of a way of telling them apart. They pretty much look the same way, right? But you definitely see that one is magnetic, the other one is not, and you press one and it deforms very easily since it's lead. The other one being steel, not the case. So that's maybe one of the biggest caveats that I find in terms of, of steel, a shotgun ammunition for home defense. The second, it's simply not going to be as effective. You want your uh, projectiles to deform when they impact that terminal ballistic that you're usually going for in terms of deformation. You want something that, you know, if you have a hollow point, the idea is that it expands, it increases the area. That's not going to be happening with steel. Steel will just stay the same and will not transfer that energy, it will not deform as much as lead. Finally, last point is that you're going to be having a lot less penetration with steel than with lead, simply because lead is a lot heavier uh, on the same amount of volume. I mean, in the same um, size of sphere, if it's uh, steel, it's going to be a lot lighter than lead. Just the specific weight of lead is simply greater than steel. So it's going to be penetrating quite a bit less. And especially for folks these days, especially with the uh, ammo shortages and prices and such, people are going like, well, yeah, I'll just buy a box of, 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 of 12 gauge shells. That's going to be good enough. And it usually tends to be because, man, these things are, are powerful. There's a lot of punch in these shells and pretty much anything that you're firing for out of it, um, especially at those very close ranges, typical for home defense cases, uh, pretty much anything you're firing is going to be somewhat effective, but there's a great difference between one shell and the other if you know what you're looking for. Ideally, you want to go with double odd buck. That is the, the, the right medicine for home defense, right? Now, there's cases in which, you know, small apartments, uh, very thin walls, you're worried about over penetration, and you want to go with, you know, some of the thicker bird shot that is out there. Some people, and I would include myself in that group, will tell you, man, if you're firing three feet away, it doesn't really make all that much of a difference even though yes, this is going to be penetrating more and it's going to be more effective. Having said that, at those distances with uh, number one, um a bird shot, that's going to be still, or even BBs, that's going to be um, quite effective still, and you're going to be avoiding that over penetration. But be careful about this. With, with steel, not only are you going with something that is already not intended for home defense, because this is already um, it mostly, this is already intended for, um, for small game hunting, besides that, you're making it even worse by going with steel instead of lead. Then a couple questions that you often get is, steel going to be damaging your, your shotgun barrel if you're firing? Usually, no, that's not the case because you have that wad, you have that plastic cup that's going to be avoiding the contact from the, the, the steel shot to the barrel. And barrels are mostly intended to uh, take that as well, but this is a big uh, difference. It's, it's maybe not going to be a, a problem at all because it's simply not making contact with the metal in the barrel of your gun. Uh, finally, very common question, why is it that they're even using steel shot if it's not nearly as effective or, or just not as effective as um, as lead? Well, it's mostly because of an environmental thing and this is a lot, it depends on where you are. In some countries and some places, this has been going on for a while where you're downright banned from using lead because you're shooting it, small game ducks, 
that sort of thing in uh, rivers, lakes, and they want to avoid uh, having the, uh, the pollution uh, of lead. So you're asked to, well, or maybe it's um, regulated that way. And by law, you have to use steel instead of lead in some areas because, of course, steel is going to be rusting and you know, degrading a lot faster uh, than lead. So that may be one of the, that's probably the main reason why you often see this being sold and used for hunting, even though it is just not as good as lead okay but for the guy that's just wondering about uh, yeah I'm gonna be getting a few boxes of ammo just in case home defense whatever avoid and you may walk into a store and go with the cheapest stuff that they have thinking man it's still 12 gauge it's gonna be doing the job that's usually the 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 idea around this well i've try to avoid going with with steel you know it's gonna be pretty much this, about the same price so choose lead instead and the steel shot it will say steel in the shot in, in the shell itself in the box and of course one is magnetic the other one is not so folks that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this little video help clarify a few things if you're interested in this kind of topic remember there's my, my book smart survival manual and three survival skills, those are available in Amazon following the links below. Have an awesome day, see you in our next video, take care.